When I was a kid, when I first fell in love with football, it was when I watched the 94 World Cup and my brother and I loved Maradona and Pelé. So it feels really special to know that he's played in such a close area to where we are now. Benvenuti a Napoli, an iconic city located in Italy's south, situated at the foot of Mount Vesuvius, that was once home to the legendary Diego Armando Maradona. Nowadays, just a short 20 minute drive away, Pomigliano d'Arco, a small town that's home to a very inspiring Matilda. Let's go meet her. Ciao. Ciao. Of course, it's none other than Ivy Luik Ivy. Thank you for having me here in Pomigliano. Thank you so much for coming. You have lived everywhere, the US, Canada, Sweden, Spain, and so many more. Did you ever think you'd end up here in Italy? No, I didn't actually. I always thought or hoped that I would, um, but it took some time, some years to actually get here. You've been to so many different parts of the world, new language, new culture, how do you adapt? How do you do it? I think because I love traveling, I don't like monotony, I love experiencing new cultures, new foods. So I think I kind of take that in my stride because it's more of a, a passion and a love in the end. So here we are, the home stadium of Pomigliano. Tell me a little bit about this club. So this club has been around for quite a while, but they've only had a men's team. Uh, a few years back, the president's daughter unfortunately passed away and he wanted to, in her memory, create a women's team. From what you see here, development, progression, and the passion now in the women's game, what excites you about women's football in Europe? What excites me the most is that clubs are starting to invest in the women's game, and you can see the talent and the level that the women's game is getting to because of that. What lessons have you learned that perhaps could be translated into helping the game grow and improve domestically down under? I think a little more investment into the women's game in Australia will definitely help. And not only that, but lengthening the season of the W League. Once we're at that stage where all the players are professional, that they're not having to do things on the side where they're not able to focus 100% of their energy into their football, I think that will really help. From all of your experiences here, in terms of the cultural and lifestyle aspects in Italy, what has impressed you most? Oh, I think it's pretty uh, similar to what attracts a lot of other people, a lot of foreigners to Italy. It's the, the sense of culture, it's the, the food, the family feeling that you've got. Something you've had to sacrifice throughout your journey is, is time with family. Recently you've been going through a tough time. Yeah, earlier this year we found out that my brother had a tumour and while they were able to get rid of most of it through surgery, there was a small portion remaining and unfortunately it was stage three, which is considered cancer. So yeah, it's been a tough time being away from home with that sort of news. But being away from home, I've had a huge blessing in Ella, uh, who's come to join us this season and she helped me through it. She was the first person I told here and she just supported me so much and got me through every day at training. So I'm so happy to have her here. Yeah, we really rely on each other as a source of um, support and just happiness because we're a bunch of fun gals. <laughs> you know, obviously we played together first at Perth and then Melbourne and then, yeah, now we're in Italy together and honestly I think it's uh, been a blessing in disguise to, to come here halfway through the season. And tell me about the wonderful fundraising effort. I just thought it was a great way to use the opportunity of being part of the national team in Australia playing against New Zealand so I could involve Stoddy in it as well. The fundraising target was high and I wasn't really sure what to expect from it but the community, the football community and the community at large just really came through and supported me so much that we beat the target and yeah of course at the end of the game I ended up shaving my head. If you were to give yourself advice 20 years ago what would it be? Uh, just to not take life too seriously and to take each day as it comes and make the most of it. Beautiful words, Ivy. Beautiful person in a beautiful city. Thank you so much for having me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Grazie mille. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.